and you will hear and answer them today. I pray in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray for peace over Trinidad and Tobago. Father God, I come against the storms of the air today, Lord. Father, you see the weather patterns this morning, oh God. Father, I come against natural disasters over our nation today, I pray. Lord, I come against the flood waters that is coming up and destroying our crops today. Yes. In the name of Jesus, forgive us of our sins this morning, oh God. Have mercy upon us today. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, I pray for the, the works ministry this morning and infrastructure, Lord God, that you will give them wisdom, oh God. You know, Lord God, how to prepare our land, Lord God, for bad weather today. Lord God, I thought it would be prevented, mighty God. Father God, they will not only think about themselves and how to make an extra dollar, Lord God, but they will think about the lives of the people of this land today. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I lift up our Prime Minister, Dr. Christopher Keith Rowley, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that this man will humble himself before you today. Lord God, that you will have the understanding that you set up and you can pull out today, mighty God. And I pray, Lord God, that you will have a heart for the people of Trinidad and Tobago today, mighty Father. Lord God, I lift up our president today, Lord God, Christine Campbell. Lord God, you know that woman and she was not placed there by chance. And I pray, Lord God, that she will be a voice in our nation, mighty God. That she will not sit by quietly and allow Lord God to be dictated in our office today, mighty God. But she will seek the interests of the people of this land today. In the name of Jesus Christ this morning, Lord God, Father God, you see the country, Lord God, is prepared, Lord God, the church of Jesus Christ, Lord God, is prepared for a prayer match tomorrow, oh God. Yeah. And pray as a people, Lord God, even though we will, some of us will not be going out there to support physically, Lord God, but we will be in our homes, oh God, remembering our country today, Lord God, remembering, oh God, our police officers, oh, the armed forces out there, Lord God, that are going out there and risking their lives for us today, mighty God. As your Father, I pray, Lord, that you will give the protective services, oh God, wisdom this morning, oh God. Father, God, I pray for the police commissioner, oh God. Lord, that you will give her wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, oh God. She understands that this nation needs prayer. And I pray, Lord God, that she will be surrounded by people who will support her in this. Lord God, that she will get divine strategies, oh God, on how to combat crime in our country today, Lord God. Father, I pray, Lord God, for the fire services today, mighty God. Father God, that you will equip them, Lord God, with the right tools and the equipment that they will need, Lord God, to, you know, Lord God, to, to help this land today. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I lift up mighty God. You know, Lord God, all our protective services today, Lord God, protect them, Lord God, as they go out there to protect us today, Lord God. Watch over their families today, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, and I pray, Lord God, as a people, Lord God, that we will take this prayer walk tomorrow seriously, mighty God, and we will seek your face, oh God, on behalf of our country today, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I will stop Hallelujah, Sister Pauline, this morning, Lord God, I pray, oh God, that you will continue to heal her, Lord God, you know, every boy, Lord God, will be restored today, I pray, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I lift up Mother Jones, Lord God, and Mother Daphne before you, I pray, Lord God, you continue healing hands upon their bodies, oh God, provide for them their every need today, and I pray, Lord God, for peace of mind, oh God, Father God, I lift up Brother David, Father, will sing before for you, mighty yes. God. Father God, you see that man and you know everything about him, Lord God, and nothing, mighty God, is too difficult for you to do in his life, Lord God. Yes. Father God, and you have started something great in his life, Lord God, and you are more than able to complete that which you have started in Brother David's life today, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for strength for his wife and children, mighty God, as they continue, Lord God, to take care of their husband, their father today. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I lift up only that Thomas before you, mighty God. I pray, Lord God, that she continues, Lord God, to take her treatment, so God. I pray, Lord God, that you will strengthen her body, Lord God, that she will be able to withstand, oh God, every drug that she will be taking today. Yes. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, will continue to strengthen her, Lord God, strengthen her mind today. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. So, Father, what I thank you, Lord God, for her family, Lord God, that is helping taken care of her, Lord God. Father God, you know the time, Lord God, and the patience in her foot, you know what? I pray, Lord God, I bless her upon each and every one of them today, mighty God. And I pray, Lord God, for the body of Christ today, Lord God. Father God, as I come against every infirmity, Lord God, over the lives of the people today, I declare healing in their bodies today, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, Father God, I just give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise today. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. As we will stand, as we will come our pastors to the Lord this morning. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Mary. Praise the Lord, you may be seated in the presence of God. Amen, amen. Just in one, two. All right, happy Father's Day to all our fathers. Come on, let's give them a round of applause for showing up in the house of the Lord. Amen. And all the young men who will be fathers in the future. Come on, let's bless them, bless them. From the side, from the side now. Yes. Amen. Amen. I thank God for Brother Ronnie is in the house. Amen. Yes, come to support. Happy Amen. Uh, I invite the prophet holder to, to come and say a prayer for us at the end. Also, Brother Ray, Pastor David. We're going to end by blessing our fathers, putting it out in the atmosphere that we are prophet, we are priests, and we are kings. Amen. So I'm going to teach you and then we're going to decree and declare this is the blessing that will come from the Lord. Amen. And we know that on this day there are fathers who uh, we have lost fathers but uh, we have our Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. We remember their lives. We remember their legacy. Amen. So I stand here today uh, you know it's not easy to deliver a sermon uh, on Father's Day when you miss the ones you love. Amen. Amen. But the comfort of the power of the Holy Spirit will comfort us. So I preach today in a couple of dimensions and I want you to bear with me. Amen. I want you to bear with me because this message I'm also addressing the family. I'm also addressing how women should talk to their husbands. How children should respond to their fathers. And our fathers, we are the ones who have set the tone and the pace in the house. So, I have a whole lot of work to do and, and then I will call these powerful men up to release this anointing upon us. And that's why I ask my grandmother to pray for us and Sister Holder because I believe that now more than ever that fathers, men, we need the prayer of the mothers, of our wives, you know, sometimes we think that the men just go to work and, and we, are, we are living in a time where society is not honoring fathers. And I want to change that culture. And many times we go out there as hunters. And yes, there are women who appreciate us. They will appreciate us. But there's so much more that I want to teach uh, on a level that you are our biggest cheerleaders. Right? Out there is war already. Out there is war and there is pain and there are issues. But when we come back home from battle, we want you to comfort us. Say this with me. Fathers, we are like little children. <laughs> there is a kid, kid inside the king. Yeah, we might not tell you that. Brother Joseph, you may not think you are father yet, but you are father. You have spoken to many. And for our potential fathers, young men who are growing up, that you have to know that God has uh, wired us to be fathers and kingdom men. Amen. So I know I said, uh, hold on, let's get into the word of God. I want to thank God for all our fathers. And I want to go into the 
the Genesis account. We we'll start off in Genesis. Go to Genesis chapter one. So I say to you, uh, Happy Father's Day. Uh, even Superman needs uh, a little bit of comfort. Amen. Even Superman has a weakness. Genesis chapter one. Happy Father's Day again. We'll pick it up from verse twenty-four. I will go to thirty-one. So this is the creation account of everything. If you have a Bible, we'll, I have put out the key verse in the, the board there. And God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his time, cattle and creeping thing, and beasts of the earth after his time, and it was so. God just said, bring forth. Somebody said, bring forth. The power of your words. And God made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after his kind, and everything that creepeth up upon the earth after his kind. And, and God saw that it was good. Somebody say that to me. God saw it. That it was good. Yes. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he male and female created he them. And God was Bless them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth. And upon every tree in which is the fruit of the tree, what yielding seed to you it shall be for meat, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life. I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And God saw everything that He had made, and behold, it was what? Yeah, say it was very good. You see that there? And God saw everything. So God is watching us. Uh, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Jump down to chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Somebody say, I'm just dust. Yes, watch how God could add value to your life. And he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became on a living soul. Watch verse 8. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, the place of paradise, Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and, and good for food. And the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of what? Knowledge of good and evil. And the river went out of Eden to water the garden from thence. It was parted and it became four heads. Glory to God. Jump down to around verse number 21. Watch this. He's named all the animals and everything that God has made. And verse number 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs. Watch this. And he closed up the flesh instead thereof. Verse 22. And the rib which the Lord had taken from man made he a woman. And brought her unto the man. The God, God brings the woman to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. 
Therefore, shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. Glory to God. And the bones of them were naked and the man and his wife were not ashamed. Glory to God. Father, bless the reading of your word. Let it make sense to us. Help us to know that you have a plan and purpose for fathers, for manpower today, for our children, for our sons and daughters, for our wives and mothers, for the female gender. God, help us to know that, that you have created us, God. You created us. Ah, God, you created us. And therefore, our lives have meaning, value, and purpose to every young man who will hear us, God, that we have value and we have identity. Into God, help us to, to always cling to, to God. Our Father, bless us. We support principalities and powers. And God, have your way to take silence. Every enemy, God, over the, the male man, God. I preach to them today that new strength and vitality and power will come into our peace, God. Because we are looking at our maker today. Your strength and God, your source and your keeper, God. Thank you for today. On this Father's Day, we pray, God, that fathers will understand who they are and who they belong to. God, thank you. Thank you. We come against God violence. We come against me and that this is the land of God. Help fathers. Help on this day, God, that young men will drop their guns and say, Happy Father's Day. Be paralyzed with the spirit of violence today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. So he created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created a male and female, he created them. Glory to God. Do not fear. My brothers and sisters, watch this. Next one. Do not fear, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you his kingdom. I want you to get that in your spirit. Do not fear. In times of fear and uncertainty, hear how God would address us in the kingdom. He says, we are a little flock. He says, and though he sees us as little children, because we serve a big God, for it is your father's what? Good pleasure. It gives him good pleasure to give us his kingdom. I want you to get that in your spirit, that our father who is in heaven has given us his kingdom. We are like little children in his eyes. Glory to God. Next one. Write this down if you're taking notes. Um, today, uh, the assignment is taking you from manhood, childhood, to manhood, to fatherhood. So I have three things to cover. Somewhere along the line, you're going to understand your source, your strength, and your sustainer. Glory to God. That's who God is in our lives. He's our source. He's our strength. And, and he's our sustainer. He's our supernatural strength. When we feel like we are weary and tired, we run back to him. Glory to God. So I want to give you the definition of uh, man in, in Hebrew, is, uh, which is called ish. Uh, somewhat where you get manish. But man in Hebrew is champion. Man, say that I am a champion. A champion. Yeah, all the fathers and elders and all the men. Say I am a champion. Yeah, Everybody can say. Yeah, because I'll show you the mystery uh, that's uh, locked up in the man was the woman. So, so you have to say you are a champion too, uh, because you are a reflection uh, of who we are. Glory to God. Uh, so, man in the Hebrew is champion. He is a conqueror. Glory to God. Now, father, the meaning of father in the Jewish culture is that he is seen as the ox. Ah, he is seen 
uh, in the Hebrew it says uh, that the man or the father is the strength of glory to God. He, he carries the weight uh, of the house. Are you following what I'm saying? So you understand uh, the responsibility of being a man uh, and a father. In, in the Hebrew it says that we have strength carriers. Uh, so we display strength to them. Uh, and, and the picture graph of the word uh, uh, strength. Uh, uh, father is the oxen or the poor. That uh, where no oxen are, the poor is clean. Uh, but much increase uh, comes by the strength uh, of the ox. So the man, the father, has a power and a strength uh, that the, the woman doesn't have. So he is strong. Uh, and if the man is breaking and crumbling in the house, uh, then everything uh, will crumble. Glory to God. He's also seen uh, in another pictograph word uh, as the house or the tent. Uh, and that's why in every man's life uh, he's seen as the foundation of the house. Uh, he's not merely so much the head of the home. That too. We are the head. Uh, but I want you to know number one that we are the foundation for this. Uh, everything rises up uh, and falls on the fire. He is the strength of the house. So look at that picture. That's why sometimes uh, you have to bring your anger in control and your strength and power because there's so much power locked up in a man. Are you following what I'm saying? That's what. What way is that say? I want you to know that we have a father in heaven, that God is our father. After this manner, therefore, pray you. Watch this. Don't forget this prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, we hallow. Hallow be your name. Hallow be thy name. He is our source. Somebody say, God the Father. He is my source. Yeah, that's where your strength comes from. That's where you go back if you're broken and hurting and in pain. He is my source. He's my doctor. He's my lawyer. He's my advocate. That's who God is in our life. Our Father, which art, where is He? He's in heaven. Therefore, I need a connection line to my Father. That's why He tells men everywhere. Men are always to pray and not faint. If there's one thing we never give up on, it's talking to God. He says, How do I need? He says, respect that name. He says, honor that name. If I am made up in the image and likeness of God, therefore, you have to watch how you talk to a man. Touch your name and say, watch how you talk to him. Yeah, because he's special in God's eyes. And if I can I preach up, I'll be downloaded in my spirit now. Now, some things, uh, it might be a little tough for you to handle, but I want you to understand uh, that we are acting by words. That's why women, when your husband come home and the father say, hey, how was your day? You look strong. You look handsome. Glory to God. And you just pull out this wallet and start giving you what you like because we, are, we were made by God who was the master architect of words. And we are moved by words. If you tell us you have no good, then you start acting tons and no good. And glory to God. But you tell me I'm strong and powerful. I'm in your chapter, man. There's not a man like you, oh, my goodness. He put on the track for one time. And you should be clapping, ladies. Glory to God. You don't want to hear good messages. Uh, but, but I'm telling you uh, that if you understand the key uh, of a man's words uh, and affection, uh, he's like a baby. Uh, uh, that's why God gives us sons. I'm uh, uh, walking in my father's shoes. Uh, have you ever seen a little baby? A little boy, a little child? like a mother and he was talking like a mother. Sometimes you're walking in your shoes. That's why we want land. That's why we want dominance. And that's why we want to take charge and understand that it is in the inclination of every father and every man. Look at the seasons and stages from childhood. They lifted us up. They raised us up. They didn't know who to follow. They had no mother. But it's in Legacy to pass on. I know they have money and lines and cars and all 
these things, uh, but you need legacy. Uh, you need your telling that see your prayer uh, and talking to God uh, so that we know when uh, we have back with and left this world uh, that God uh, saw my daddy pray and uh, saw my mother on the knees. Uh, I give you something uh, that money can buy. Uh, I give you something uh, you can't just draw uh, on your life. Uh, I give you God. What is after this man I never pray? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Watch this. Thy kingdom come. Somebody say, Thy kingdom come. Watch this. Thy will be done on earth. Here's what the Father wants for us. And it is, uh, as it is in heaven, watch this. Give us this day our daily bread. We are the source. You are provider. You are caretaker. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us uh, and watch us and lead us not into what? Temptation, uh, but deliver us from evil. For thine uh, is the kingdom uh, and the power and the glory forever. It is our Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom of Almighty God. So he's our Heavenly Father. Let's move on. Look at this. God made man in his image. Uh, a schema, uh, a representation. We ought to represent God on the earth. Uh, on the earth, uh, but there is a type of uh, when Satan uh, twists up the plan uh, and the, the image likeness in our lives, uh, we start uh, misrepresenting God. There's a whole lot of misrepresentation of God on the earth. Uh, are you following me? When when fathers. Uh, we ought to be protectors uh, and promoters uh, and providers. Uh, uh, glory to God. And, and then there is a breakdown in the family uh, and we lost the image uh, of God in our lives. Uh, then all sorts of things happen. That's why young men, uh, they ask us, where are watching? They, they are looking at us to tell them who they are and who they belong to. Where are they watching? Uh, because when they start losing their image uh, and likeness of God, you can take a gun uh, and shoot one of your brothers. Uh, uh, not just like you made, uh, because we are all our brothers uh, and sisters. Glory to God, made uh, in the image uh, and likeness of God. Uh, and that's why there was uh, a moral decline uh, in the earth today. Uh, because man uh, has lost uh, the image uh, of God. Uh, so we are imaging. Uh, and that's why young people uh, are trying to find out uh, the identity. Uh, pastor, can you tell me? Who I am. And it was always the responsibility of the father to tell their sons and daughters who you are. You are made in God's image and likeness. You don't need a gang to define you. You don't need a stuff to define you. You don't need a Lamborghini to define you. You need God to define you. I appreciate it. Now, I want you to understand that we were always the ones that God has entrusted the value and the responsibility to tell them who they are. So when there's uh, uh, fathers uh, missing, as Mama said, uh, sometimes fathers, uh, uh, we are so so we are moving from manhood to father. We have our childhood, uh, and some uh, we are still battling. You know, sometimes uh, there are traumatic experiences, uh, and there are hurts and pain uh, uh, as a childhood uh, comes into adulthood uh, and becomes a man, uh, and nobody tells him uh, how to operate. Uh, nobody has shows, nobody showed uh, showed him uh, how. Man on the list. So, so what he does, uh, he thinks that uh, he's a natural man, uh, he thinks he's a classic man, he thinks he's just a slow dropper, uh, and not knowing uh, uh, that he feels he's more man uh, because he has all these stuff and things. Uh. So there's a type of uh, man, if there's no mentorship and no leadership, he thinks that the more women he has under his spell, he's a man. He doesn't know he's a missing man. He's not how God designed him to be. So he thinks that he is just saying, this is what I've seen. This is what was modeled. This makes me a, a macho man. This makes me an alpha man. This makes me a, a strong man. Glory to God. But but, yeah, but but he misses what? Where is the God man? Glory to God. So that was saved by God. His identity is in him. Write that down if you're, if you're writing. Take it. Man was saved by God. His true identity.
tempted you. Of course I tempted you. He said, hey, man, because I was taken out of God. Uh, God uh, had a little power meeting with Father, Son, uh, and the Spirit. Uh, with everything else, you just said, let there be and there was. Uh, but the man is so important to God. Uh, and he built everything. Look at it. Uh, he built the world uh, and he furnished it uh, with everything, with the waters uh, and the waterfalls, the birds, the beasts, uh, the land mass. Uh, his finest creation, he says, let us make a man in our image. A man and a woman is a crowning act. It is a splendor of God. That's why he took his time. That's why God started to build a man. Adam, the first man made by the dust, by the clay. And God is saying to him that you were made of something that folks would want to walk on and step on. But don't get no horrors because you are a foundation. I built you up to take weight. I have a foundation you to stand up your ground. And he lays there. And then the Bible says he breathed into mad water the breath of life. And the man stood up. Somebody says, it's time to stand up. It's time to stand your ground. It's time to take back your rightful place in the house, in society, and in the family. We have too much women doing what men ought to be doing. Glory to God. Can I preach? Can I put a woman in their place today? And today is all day. Father's day. Amen. He is the blood man. He is seedful and must be fruitful. So he can't be seed, but he must be able to. Not just to be seedful, he must nurture the seed and raise the seed up to pass on his life legacy. Glory to God. Man is to represent God on the earth. Let's go ahead. Watch this. There are different types of men in the world today from the alpha male, the omega male, the gamma male, the sigma male. These are men. Uh, so, so today, man is seeking identity. Uh, so we think that if you're rough, tough, and buff, uh, uh, this alpha man, uh, when he shows up, uh, everybody starts looking at him. So he's the alpha man. If you want to marry one of those, uh, uh, these men, uh, uh, he's the center of the attention. Uh, you will have to sit low. <laughs> so he's the alpha man. Uh, when he shows up, uh, uh, he, he shows up with power. And all of us have it. He shows up with strength uh, and fortitude. Uh, then there is uh, the gamma man. He's uh, intellectually skillful. Uh, uh, he's suited up uh, and, and he's a thinker, glory to God. Uh, uh, he's one of those men you might consider marrying, Sister Mary. You might, might, might consider that. Uh, he is a thinker. Uh, he, he may hold on to you as long as he can, uh, glory to God. But, but the alpha male, uh, uh, if you mess with his mind too much, uh, he says, oh, I says, die on, because he's the center of attention. Can yeah, you follow me? That's it there. He's kind of rough, rough and tough. Uh, uh, then there's this man, he, he's a brave man uh, that many people don't look to glory to God. You can say amen. He's a man who prays. He's a man who studies the word. He's a prophet. He's a priest. He's a he's a, a godly man. He's a loving man. And some people underestimate his power, but they don't know that an alpha man is locked up in the brave man. They don't know that classic man is locked up in the brave man. They don't know the camera man and the sick man. All oh, because God made what? Man in his image and likeness. And all these men are locked up. But you have to discover which one must come out. I'm preaching better than this show. But that's the key. The role and functions of fathers. The father is uh, number one, the role model for his children. He's a role model. I thank you for those powerful prayers that we are the examples. Of. We ought to be that model. Uh, glory to God. So when the father is missing, they try to get a, a, a figure, a father figure, a male figure. A mother cannot be a father, and a, a father cannot be a mother. Uh, understand uh, what I'm talking to you about. The father is the role model. He sets the pace uh, and the tone uh, in the house. What they see, they will model. Glory to God. I want my boys try to lay hands on me in the name of Jesus. Uh, because uh, I said, uh, when they say, I say, come, let me pray for you. Until one day uh, I sit in there and come and he says, 
say the name of Jesus. Glory to God. If there's an issue, a little something happening, he's looking because he say what I always see my father saying prayer and saying the name of Jesus. And, and that, that's, uh, I said, Lord, when he gets bigger, I know he's going to lay hands on. Uh, that, that's the three of the problems. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. The father, number two, is the provider. That's why you woman, you have to pray for the father, for the husband's wife, because uh, everything, the rest, uh, will come down uh, on the father. We are foundations of structures. So he's a provider. And these days, uh, uh, can you hear the cries uh, of our fathers uh, and the male, uh, the Zaka man, the alpha man? Uh, look, look, look at what is happening. Society is pressing upon the man. Go to work and you live home, a nice environment. You are the king of your castle, and then you go to the workplace and you go to, to that place where there must be respect and, and all these things, and then there is a whole lot of a competition. So you have to know to balance, uh, right? And, and, uh, I met a father recently, and, and the boss was uh, you know, coming down on him, and, and, and he looked at me and said, Only, for, only because I'm not sure right now. <laughs> yeah, but I want you to know that God, uh, I said, boy, let's take you to God and pray. Let's, let's look at God uh, and God will give you the strength uh, and the courage. Uh, because one day the is just uh, messing with his, uh, the psyche. And I say, uh, and, and the father, but it's only because of my children. So there are some things that fathers will put up with and, and take because uh, uh, I have my children to see a lot. So the father is the provider. He's a nourisher. He nourishes. Uh, when, when you go to manhood, from childhood to manhood, uh, manhood was all about you. Uh, when you become a father, you become selfless. So, so you want the best for them. Uh, and you don't mind giving them your last uh, because you have now taken the title of that you are, look at the title we carry, Father, son, that God, our Lord, Father, who's there in heaven, it must be that you are something great and something grand that he says, I call you Father, unto you. I, one time, he says, call you my Father. But when he says, children, obey your parents, your mothers, your fathers, you see the weight of the Father. Sure, the father is the foundation of the family. Write that down. We were told that he's the boss and the head. And that is true too. That he's the vision and the heir and the mind of the family. But that's why God gave you a help me to, So when you can't see, she can't see. Her. When you can't hear, she can hear. Glory to God. I'm not preaching. Her. The father is the foundation. I don't mind you walking up on me. I don't mind you standing up on me. But don't just sit me down in the sand. Stand up upon me. Walk up upon me. Gain strength from me. Gain power and favor from me. Glory to God. So you are. A foundation. Somebody say I'm stronger than the thinker. So somebody say I'm stronger than the thinker. Yeah, yeah. I want to release it right here. You're stronger than the thinker. You're more greater than the thinker. Because you are a rocker. A glory to God. You are a stone and a foundation of God in your house. When the Father leaves, that's why everything is hard in the house. Glory to God. The father is the identity giver in his family. Number four, who are you? You must tell them who they are. Your chosen son, your chosen daughter. That's why she gravitates to you. She's really looking. Uh, when she reaches her age, she will look for a man just like you. Uh, your sons will look for a woman just like the mother. So you're chosen. They're, let them know that they are chosen and loved by God. Uh, that they are accepted in God. Uh, when the world tries to reject them uh, and gang members uh, and people are fed up of them, uh, let them know that God has accepted you because you were made uh, in His image and likeness. Yeah. So the Father, the parents, let me switch it up a little bit. So parents, we give them identity. Shape their mind and the The father, number five, is the promoter in the family. He's not the provoker. No, no. He doesn't stop bitterness in his children or anger. 
Africa. No, he proves uh, maybe you're, you're a princess. Uh, you're, you're made by God. Uh, some, you're a prince. Uh, no, you're a promoter. So that's what you want to do. Uh, I support you 100. Uh, I push you. Uh, I support you. Uh, with all the resources. Uh, so the Father is a promoter in his family. Am I preaching? Right. Understanding the, the identity crisis among our children today. So they first need to discover their purpose. Who am I? Why am I here? That's a big, that's a big question. Who am I? Can you tell me why am I in existence? Fathers must give them their true identity, which is in Christ Jesus. What's what is happening in society today? Identity crisis is a temporary, what is all of us go through that. Identity crisis from a childhood to uh, adult to, 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 to be even being a senior. And the whole identity crisis uh, is a temporary, what is instability that begins in adolescence when a person must discover their role in society, thereby entering adulthood. So, so we have a generation, they don't know where they are fitting. So they are trying to figure out. Pastor, uh, mom, dad, can you tell me where do I fit in society? And that's where fathers come, will come in. That's where mothers will uh, show up here now and let them know that you have purpose in your life. Are you following me? You may be a young teenager and come to know that everything uh, comes in stages and seasons and time. If you get something before the season and time, you start losing your true identity. So we have a whole bunch of young people, they are rocking baby today. And they're crying inside because there's a child locked up inside of them. And it comes out to rebelliousness and disobedience to a father figure. But yes, the breakdown. Where is my father? Remember the prophet said, My father, my father. Even before we are passed on the pardon, but it seems that why they drop their seed and the child after nine months, if it's not a boy or a girl, some fathers disappear. And they said that the prison house are filled up with more fathers. Fathers are missing. The male man is missing. So he's busy. The society does not help him. He finds a way to make things happen faster. Because there's a pressure on fathers, there's a pressure on the male mind. That's why God has gifted us to strength. So when there's no identity, I tell you, identity crisis versus identity in Christ, and they start figuring out every now, I was made in his image and likeness. I am a representative of God. God loves me so much that He breathed into me in the breath of life. My goodness. God, did look at the, 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 the sequence and the pattern that God created the universe, the world. God made the first man, Adam. He made the man. Then He, he took one. He took the river and formed a woman. She's Eve. She's beautiful. She's a man. Somebody say, Eve is the most beautiful. You came out of are you following what I'm saying? So there's a beauty. There's a way she talks. There's a way she communicates to Adam. When Adam looked at the lion, cobra, zebra, everything, God says, look at the power that he gave to Adam, everything that he called Sarah. He didn't call the lion dog and the dog lion. Look at the intellectualism of Adam. And whatever he named it, so it is for the rest of their life. For the so he had the mind of God. God made Adam. Then God says that it's not good for the what? It's not good for what? The man to be alone. And he gave him a wife. God brought Eve. And look at this picture. Can you picture it with me? That God, uh, God put the man to sleep. He put the man to sleep. And took a rib. Uh, that's a, the brilliance of God. Uh, and the mind of God. And he shaped Adam from dust. Uh, and he laid there lifeless. Uh, and he breathed into him. Uh, and he stood up. Uh, and God had face to face. Uh, relationship. 
patience with the God, putting his thoughts, putting his power into man. And that's what God ever so often you need to give them a little space and a little time. All of us need it. And I call it one to one with God to understand why you are here. To get the mind of God, to get the charge of God, the strength of God, the power of God. And God was talking to him every single day. For God, it is said that God will come down on the cool of the day, the cool of the day.
I need to stop in the room, sir. Because that's what happening. Because he's a tent man. In the Hebrew, locked up in the world, he's a tent carrier. He carries sons and daughters. And he's not only a carrier, he's a covenant keeper. He's not only a covenant keeper, but he's a covering to his family. And that's why he's going to say, Lord, I need to stop in the room, sir. So he is a prophet. He sees uh, what must be done. Uh, he's a priest. Uh, what does a priest do? Watch this. Uh, he becomes a lion. He's a lion and a lamb. Say that with me. I am a lion. I'm a lion. And I'm a lamb. Glory to God. You are an eagle. Look at this. Uh, that's why you make notice when he, uh, he chose. I'm not telling you this, uh, but this is prophetic. Uh, that when he made man, he also made a beast. Uh, uh, the man was uh, to look at the beast, uh, never to act like him, uh, but to gain power and strength that you have to uh, He must crucify the beastly nature in his life. Uh, he's not a vital part, he's not a wolf, uh, not a lion to tear people to pieces. No, no, it was always uh, on that sixth day. Uh, he made land, uh, that's why man, uh, you have to buy the land, uh, that's why uh, you have to uh, have strength uh, like the oxen uh, and the blood. Glory to God. On the same day, on the sixth day, uh, he's saying to man uh, that I've uh, given you strength. Uh, look at the look at the eagle. Uh, there are only two things uh, God ever equipped himself with uh, the lion uh, and the eagle. He's a lamb, uh, he's a lion and eagle. We go to Revelation and we see that back again uh, because uh, man power needs strength. Uh, look at this one. You are a priest. You stay in your space. Uh, and you lift up your hands before God. And he offers up prayers to God. So when there's nobody else to hear your voice, you talk to God. After the, this is why I wanted to say to a man, power, a man, a male man, that they need God. They need God. Because God is my Father. And you're following me. No matter how old, we can no matter how stage and season, we lift our hands up and we offer the sacrifices of praise. Ah, that's why the priest, you're a priest, and will sacrifice for your children. Do the prayer for your children. Glory to God. Cover them with prayer. A child in Italy, that's why I'm asking you to the word. That we must cover them with prayer. That's the design and the duty. The design and the duty. Prayers, I want you to there are some fathers who will even go into tears. Prayers and tears. Huh? The father never gave up on his son. He took in his inheritance son and he said, Daddy, I'm gone. But he didn't know that Daddy, prayers was following him. Up. And then the well to run out of time. He says, How many? And he says, When he really woke up, up and he says, uh, the, the Bible says a little thing when he came to himself or, or to his senses, uh, the prayer of a father will wake up uh, the senses uh, in the young boy uh, or the young girl. And then he said, I'm going back home to my father. And one thing uh, you can guarantee uh, the father never kicked him. Uh, I preached uh, already, uh, he kissed him. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, it tells you the love uh, of the father. Somebody say love. Uh, love uh, in spite of uh, love them in their good plans. Uh, love them when they're acting crazy. Uh, love them uh, when they're teenagers. Uh, love them when they run. Uh, love them uh, no matter what. Uh, and the point of such man uh, is still there. And he says, this is my son. He says, bring a ring, a rope, and kill the fatted calf. That's the love I'm talking about. That's the prophetic instinct. That's the priestly love. I want you to say, and the kingly anointing that he shows up. And he says, daddy, he says, father, I'm a father. I've wasted all that you've given me. And the father embraced him. Oh, I wish I had a video to show you a picture. The father embraced him. The father covered him. Stinking. Cut came out of the pegs, the, the pig's pen. And he come now and he hugged him. He embraced him. And he loved him. He gave him not only a sense of place to belong. Look at what fathers must do. He opened up the door to him and he gave, he gave him authority. And he gave him ownership. He says, This ring, you will come down business for me. So on this Father's Day, I want you to know that you have rulership. But before you have rulership, 
you must surrender to God. Before you have rulership, you must have lordship. You must have the Lord, the Lord in your life. Before you even have rulership, there must be partnership. That's why everything is connected. Say, so fathers, husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church. So there's authority. So you can speak things into existence. You have the heart of a lion, a lion heart. A heart that loves. A heart that transfers courage. Glory to God. So on this Father's Day, I want all our fathers to stand in fact all the, 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 the male in our midst. And I'm going to ask uh, Brother Joseph, let's just honor the men. Could we just hear each? Um, the fathers will get the, the red box and the younger men will get the, the ones in the back. Amen. Amen. So first I want to ask, um, yeah, the, yeah, so we just, we're honoring, how much we have? We have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yes, prophesy, prophesy. So I'm going to ask Pastor David to come first. And I want you to pray as the Spirit will guide you, you know. Um, pray that men will take their place um, as a prophet, as, as a priest. Then I'll uh, wait for the way they're going to come. Simple, that prophet is going to end us. Let's receive the prayer as the. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, God, we give you thanks and praise. Father, we thank the God for this day, the God. Dear Father God, Lord, our, our Father, yes, God. dear God, we thank you, dear God, as we, we look to you, dear God, as our source, dear God, as our yes. example, yes. dear Father yes. God, you send your son, dear God, as a blueprint of God, of, of, for, for all of us as men, dear God, to follow, dear God, his footsteps, dear God, Father, I pray, oh God, that you touch each man, oh God, that in your house, that in your world today, that we recognize our position, dear God, that you are placing us, dear God. As, 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 as a prophet, the priest, and the king of the home, they're going to guide our home, they're going to with yes. discretion, Father God, in yes. the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch each man, O oh God, from the core of the head worldwide, O oh God, yes. to the sole of the feet, O oh God, that we will arise, O oh God, and take our rightful place, dear God, that you have created us to be over the head yes. and not the tail above. And not be needed. Yes, they are going yes, to yes. direct, to lead, and to guide our, our household. Oh, they God. They are going to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. They are going to strengthen us, O oh God. Mentally, socially, and spiritually, O oh God. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Our Father, I pray for the Holy Spirit. They are going to take a hold of, yes. of the men of this nation, O oh, God. Yes. Dear God, to the young men, dear God, and that to look to the senior men, dear God, and partner their life after them, oh God. For as, as Paul said, you follow, follow me as I follow Christ. Yes, yes. We pray for that each man will be that example that you ordained for us, our Father. Help us, we pray, oh God, to arise in the anointing. And be the man that we ought to be, yeah. oh God, yeah. today. Yes. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, touch, touch this man at this time, oh Father God. Yes. We give you the thanks, we give you the praise, yes. we give you glory, we give you honor. Take God, let the discernment of spirit, dear God, enlighten our minds, oh God. Take a hold of our minds, oh God, our heart, our soul. Oh dear God, let that burn within us, oh God. That we are alive to the statue, yes. dear God, and the fullness of Christ, Hallelujah. dear God, to be a man of God, walking in the integrity, dear God, of your word, O oh, our Father. Hallelujah. Be what, what you want us to be in the name of Jesus. Father, God, we thank you for this day, for this Father's Day, O oh God. That each man, dear God, will recognize that God gave him talent and ability yes. and responsibility. And rise up and be more what they ought to be yes. in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for our pastor, the God, and be the one, the leader, the man, the God, the prophet, and the man of God of the house, the God, this morning. We thank you, God, for him this morning for being that, that example that we should follow. 
We give you thanks for that, that you bless him and touch him from the top of his head to the very soul of his feet. And he continues to be, dear God, Christ's life, dear God, to us. Dear God, as you walk, dear God, as Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Have your way in this life and in the life of every man this morning. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Let's receive it. Yes. Yes, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Strengthen them, Lord. Open the spiritual eyes that are the eagles, that are the world mothers, the children, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, that will strengthen them, Lord. Hallelujah. From now till they die. Yes, Lord. From the end of time, the children will fall onto them, Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Hallelujah. That will give them strength to stand as one. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, that families will get together. Fathers will be fathers. Oh, Lord. Amongst fathers, Lord. Let's go. 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 let us go Yes, God. Yes, Yes, God. Yes, 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 Hallelujah. Yes. yes. Come here. That's going the aisles. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. I want to get it done. Steps. Yes. Yes. By the Lord. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah, yes, yes. Stand. Hallelujah. Let's look at this here. Yeah, you want to touch that? Touch them. Steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord, for our man, God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, 